Welcome everyone to to this tutorial. So I did this tutorial long time ago and and I think it was in version X3 and and I want to I want to go back to it and I want to create a new one using my um my CorelDRAW 2020. Uh so when you have some situation like this wherein a client is, you know, they give you like a low resolution image and then and then you're going to print this in a large format printer uh, this is a huge problem because then uh, the pixels will show up in large format printing so you have no, no choice but to redraw this right but this one is really easy in Corel draw uh, especially uh, when you turn on your object snap um, object snap mode Okay, so the object snap mode is in view and make sure the snap to object is turned on okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, uh, just like faces of the boxes and then we're going to color it down so first i'm going to go to my bezier to oh, okay sorry first of all we are going to lock this object so i mean image so right mouse click and then you go lock so that we won't accidentally move it and then you go to your bezier tool and then in your bezier tool you're just going to uh, create the faces of the box so for example we start here click 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 here and then make sure that the arrow will show up and then you click on the node that means to say it's um it's closed right so now let's go to the next uh, next box. Um, next phase would be this one here. So you just have to start again here, here, and then make sure you click on the node. Okay, so that node is the the four corners of the, the rectangle. So node, and then you close the arrow, shows the arrow, and then close. And then the next one is we'll start from here. Click. And then wait for the node. Node shows up, and then you go like this, this one, and then arrow, and then close. Okay. So here again, node. One here, here, and then wait for the node, not the edge, but the node, and then close. Cause you see the arrow, and then we go from here. Okay. Let's do this first. So we go here. Now here you can use edge. Click, click click and then we're going to find a node here okay that's a node and go back here node and then we're going to close it because there's the arrow there and then we start from here we go edge go down uh, node we have to look for the node go back here node again node and then close and I think we only need these two and then we're done so with this one I'm gonna start from here so node node and then here could be edge and then node again and it's going to close right and the last one is here we start from here node uh, node uh, node node and the last one here okay so we're all done so what we're going to do here is we are going to just use our smart fill sorry not smart fill um, I, um, the color eyedropper so to sample the color of the box I mean the faces of the box and then we we fill that color so click on the color eyedropper and then uh, click on this color here and then fill it with that color okay so now when we go here uh, instead of going back here and then you just hold down your shift okay hold down shift and then sample that color and then fill again let's go go here so hold on shift and then fill hold on shift fill hold on shift fill this one this one and the last one would be this one all right and our box is done right so now we're going to um move the reference out to the left side so uh, we right mouse click on this one, we just unlock and then we'll move it over here. Now let's 
I'm just gonna delete this because this was the first one that I did. Okay, we're, I'm gonna move this to or the left, to the right side. And I'm going to remove the outline, which is black. So remove black outline. And then, and then if you notice here, there's like a gradient uh, from dark to light. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click this and then plus sign your keyboard and then make it black, right? And now I go to my transparency tool, I click and drag here. It should be far away from the from the box so that I can, you know, uh, put like a shading there, like that, okay? So now our next one would be, uh, see this one? You have a little bit of darker area there. So we are going to select that and then plus sign your keyboard and then color it black and then you go to your transparency tool and then since this one is darker here so I'll just go like this but you go far away okay so that's good so now um, what else can we do uh, this one um, I think we can do this too but not really but I think this one here I've seen this one here so we're gonna do that so we'll just create a shape uh, so I'm still snapping to objects, right? So I click here and say here and then here and then close that and then put black and remove the outline, right? Now let's click here. And then I'm going to go to my transparency tool and then I click and drag like that. So go far a bit and then let's look at the... Um, the reference, we'll just move this. Okay. Something like that. All right. And yeah, that's it. So we did this in a short period of time uh, from a low resolution object uh, photo to a high resolution uh, photo. I mean, vector graphics. You can view, wireframe, everything's here, right? So that's because of uh, the help of the object, uh, snap to object. It's very important. I hope you like it. It's a short tutorial, but uh, I think the, um, the, um, the use of the snap to object was clearly defined here. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and if you subscribe just turn on the notification uh, bell so that you'll be notified and if you if you like it just click on the like button and uh, you can also comment uh, and bye for now